I've had a number of customers email me over the years asking how to tell if the engine shocks are okay. Now this is an engine shock on a five cylinder turbo diesel engine. The mounting is unique uh, to certain chassis, but the shocks can even, are even the same for some of the non-turbos. They may not have the same mounting arrangement. There's two things you need to be concerned about. You need to be concerned about the, the mounting rubber. Right up here, this bracket is mounted to the motor mount arm, and it has a rubber insert right there, see? And if you start moving the shock around like this, if there are excessive cracks, and of course, if it's loose, you've got to replace it, but you'll have to kind of decide. This one might still have some life to it. The shock moves up and down. You can't just grab the shock and, and kind of feel it. What I've learned is you have to put a nut on the end and get a hold of it with a vice grip like this because you're going to test it through its full travel all the way up and all the way down. Now this one is stiff. It should be very, very hard to move in both directions but there shouldn't be any slop. Now watch what's wrong with this one. See, it's got about a, oh, it just slipped up. <laughs> so it's got some slop in there and then every once in a while it lets loose and slips up like that. So this shock is no good. Now I've pulled another one off, another turbo diesel engine. This came off a 300 SD. Notice the mount rubber is a little bit different, but once again, I'm going to inspect expect that. It, this one's pretty bad. See that? See how much it's torn up in here? So I don't expect much more life out of this mounting rubber here. But let's try this one. I'll put a vice grip on the nut and then I'm going to put it upside down like this and push. See that? Look at how hard I'm have to push to push it all the way in. And then when I pull it back, there's no play in it at all. There's no, you know, movement it's going all the way down and all the way back, really stiff. So that's how you test them. You have to disconnect it, uh, otherwise there's really no, no way. It's probably better to just take it out because it's kind of hard to get down in here and get a hold of that to move that piston up and down. The other thing you want to watch is these rubbers on this end here wear out. So you need to inspect these two so there's no play on that lower end where it mounts to a little bracket on the subframe. The, sh the engine shocks will dampen the vibration of the engine. So I feel they're important. I know some people just leave them off, but you should try to make sure that your engine shocks are functioning properly.